Good morning, Dos Pueblos. I'm Olivia Deveni. And I'm Skylar Covert. Today on DP News, Peter and the Star Catcher. Volunteer opportunities. Canned food and toy drives. Scholarship opportunities and more. DP, DP News starts now. <laughs> Dos Pueblo Theater Company Encore performance of Peter and Starcatcher is tonight at 7 p.m. Get your tickets as soon as possible. You don't want to miss your last and final chance. Stay on track with your community service. Galita Depot needs your help with their miniature train. There are two positions, engineer and conductor. You can find out if there's any training required by coming to the, by the Career Center for additional information. Uh, Olivia, what kind of coffee are you drinking? Express O. Oh my god, Olivia, your puns are so fire that I'm losing my train of thought. It's all oh. right. I'm running out of steam anyway. Oh. There is a scholarship opportunity for young ladies to win a $500 cash scholarship or $1,000 towards a state pageant. Please come by the Career Center for additional information. There's also a scholarship opportunity for annual aspiring nurse scholarships. Interested students, please visit nursingschoolsalmanac.com and click the banner on the right-hand side of the website's homepage. Here, you'll find detailed scholarship information and the official application form. Come by the Career Center if you have any questions. The Dos Pueblos Marching Band and Color Guards fall season is coming to a close. After their championships performance this coming Saturday, they will have one last show here in town. There will be a community showcase of the local marching bands at San Marcos High School on Tuesday, December 1st at 6 p.m. The Color Guard is also gearing up for the upcoming winter season, and they are looking to recruit new members. There will be an informational interest meeting at lunch on Wednesday, December 2nd in P3 for anyone thinking about joining the Color Guard this winter. By joining, you'll get PE credit, community service hours, and the chance to perform around Southern California. Contact Ca Captain Carrie Apple at carrieapple99 at gmail.com for more information. The can and toy drives began will go until Wednesday, December 16th. Bins will be available in the main office, P2, athletics office, and the career center. All the toys collected for the drive will be distributed to families in need through the Unity Shop. The Parent Resource Center is hosting the event Beyond Senior Year, Preparing for College. This event will be presented by two staff members from SBCC. They will be talking about different resources and programs available for students with special needs. The event is taking place on Wednesday, December 2nd from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the SBUSD District Office. Interested in going into an inter internship with career of your choice? There's an opportunity through Partners in Ed. Please come by the Career Center with any questions or to pick up an application. Deadline to apply is December 3rd. Hey, Skylar, have you looked at Snapchat anytime recently? No, I haven't. No. Check this out. There's a new filter for Dose Bubbles chargers? Oh, what? here's a video on more. Hey, DP. As you may have recently found out, a lot of the other schools in our district have been given their own Snapchat geofilter. And here in the DP Media Lab, we created our own. Now introducing the Dose Public Chargers Snapchat filter. Today's activity in the Greek will be a pie eating contest. Here's a video for more information. Hey Chargers, what's up? Today in the Greek we have a pie eating relay race. Tell them about it, Shanna. So, if you like pie, if you like relay races, come down to the Greek because we're going to have each class is going to have a team and they have to relay race to eat one piece of pie or more and see which class wins because you'll get easy class points for this. And it's just a uh, preparation for um, Thanksgiving next Thursday. Well, uh, this upcoming Thursday. So, do you like pie dolls? I hate pie. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh. oh, it didn't break. Thank God. Don't. Come down the Greek. <laughs> Hey 
See, See you there. there. Love is difficult to define, especially in young relationships. Here's a video to help you learn more. Did you know that one in three of us are experiencing dating abuse? I've seen ugly relationship stuff and it just seems like it's part of the normal now. Love is not controlling, it is not stressful, and there should be no pressure involved. Love is not pressure to have sex or having someone put you down. Love is being trustworthy, kind, and faithful. Love is feeling comfortable around each other and pushing each other to be your best. Love is having integrity, having responsibility, and expressing compassion. We are lucky. What is Love has workshops right here at school to teach us how to have healthy relationships. Plus, we get up to six hours of community service. Pick up a permission form in the counselor's office today. The workshops are starting soon. That's all your campus news for today, Chargers. Olivia and Skyler signing out. Now over to Nico and Ashley with the sports. Hey there, DP. I'm Ashley. And I'm Nico. Here with your sports report. Boys Tennis has tryouts Monday, November 30th. Tryouts started at 3 and end at 4.45. Over Thanksgiving break, boys soccer plays Pioneer Rally and girls soccer plays San Inez on Monday. Boys basketball plays at Carpentria away on Tuesday. Boys basketball plays Rio Mesa here on Tuesday. Now over to Jeffrey with a special report. Hello, DP. My name is Jeffrey Chow and I'm here with... Jessica Delgadillo. And... Becca Baxis. Jessica, could you tell us a little about girls lacrosse? Well, um, girls lacrosse is a new sport on campus. It started last year. So you don't need any experience to join, and it's really fun. Our coach is Mrs. Limpkman, the art teacher. And if any girls on campus want to join, Becca, what would they have to do? Well, there's a mandatory lunch meeting December 4th after Thanksgiving break. You should come. It's in Sam's room. She's awesome. Is there anything else we sh you want to say? Um, you don't need to be for sure joining to come to the meeting. Just come and learn about the sport and see if you enjoy it. Lax is life. And now over to me with another Chow Challenge. Thanks, guys. I'm Jeffrey Chow, and I'm here with another Chow Challenge. And I'm challenging Quinn Peacock, Dylan Elliott, at water polo. And with two of them, I have to ask for the help of sports correspondent Nico Mackey. What's up, guys? For help. Quinn, what will we get if we score one point in water polo against you? One point in water polo? I think you guys deserve to be on the varsity girls water polo team. Varsity girls water polo team. How do you feel about that, Nico? Can I kick the ball? Let's go.
Hey DP, I'm Nandini Braganza, your current events reporter. Princeton students held a protest in order to draw attention to what they saw as racial, racial injustice. They conducted a sit-in at the office of the university president, Christopher L. S. Gruber, late Wednesday night. About 30 students remained in the office as about 150 stood outside the administration building, chanting their support. Some of the students' demands included the removal of Woodrow Wilson's name from anything named after him at the university, cultural competency training for the faculty, and, a cr and the creation of a cultural space on campus dedicated to black students. Mr. Isgruber refused to sign on the demands. Though he personally agreed that Woodrow Wilson was a racist, he refused to remove his name or acquire training for all faculty members. Now over to Lizette with your weather. Hey there, DP. Today's temperatures will be 79 degrees. Tomorrow's temperatures will be 77 degrees. And Sunday's temperatures will be 76 degrees. The surf will be 1 to 5 feet, with 5 feet being the highest point at 4 p.m. Why didn't the turkey ask for seconds? Because he was stuffed. I'm Lizette with the weather, signing out. And I hope to see you tonight for Peter and the Starcatcher at 7. Have a good holiday, DP.